people out there that you can have this electricity with. Dating has actually been fun again. OurTown.com. Visit today and get started for free. In a little break. She'll be back in a minute. Parts of 14 states have been designated disaster areas because of the severe drought. I mean, the drought is spanning from California all the way to Arkansas, even further, and that's been terrible for farmers. They're getting really close to their planting season right now. Now, because of this federal disaster designation, it means that they're going to be able to get low interest loans to help them. Last year, a serious drought affected 39 states, and already we're seeing it starting again this year, too. You're going to see Rihanna to perform on this new this year's Grammy Award show. I love the Bethematic. The Recording Academy revealed the first round of acts to perform and Rihanna's going to be joined by Taylor Swift and the group's Fun, Mumford and Sons and the Black Keys. LL Cool J is going to host the show. It airs February 10th. All right, Carlos is out today. The Washington Redskins are in desperate need of a new stadium, but the mayor of D.C. says they are not going to get a new home inside city limits unless they change their name or at least show that they're open to the possibility. And, of course, the name the Redskins has been a hot topic for decades. Some people say that's a slur, but the team's owner seems to like it. He's been very reluctant to change. Plus, they have a huge value in the brand itself. Forbes.com values the Redskins at $1.6 billion, the third most valuable franchise in the NFL. All right, so we continue our new sports segment that honors future phenoms. We spotlight stars of tomorrow. So Carlos is going to introduce you to Taylor Garcia, a swimmer from Michigan. Now, she has her sights set on standing on the Olympic podium. Taylor took up swimming as a recreational sport in school, but soon realized the thing she hated the most about swimming competitions was losing. The lows are just something that fuels me for the next competition, and I can just pick myself up off those disappointments. The disappointments have been few for the sophomore, who helped her high school team win its second straight Division II state title. The eight-time All-American is also a two-time state champion in the 100 fly and says all her accomplishments wouldn't be possible without the people around her. I have that small group of people around me that really pick me up and they keep supporting me and that's what really pushes me through. Taylor's ultimate goal is the Olympic Games, but for right now she has her sights set on finishing high school and the next step after that. I'd like to go to a nice school with a good swimming program. And I'd like to just be able to push myself to the goals that I have and what I want to accomplish. It's your birthday. All right, if today is your birthday, you shared the day with Rod Stewart. Happy birthday, Rod Stewart. He turned 68 today. He's been a superstar for nearly five years. Decades. I can remember dancing to him when I was four years old. And he has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice. Do you know, father of six and also a huge fan of model trains. Hmm, all right. A test that many women are already getting to test for one type of cancer could help detect several other types as well. And this puppy's haircut looks awfully cute. But what if you thought a lion was chasing you down the street? Dear Check Cereal, I just had to write. You can't imagine how long I've been searching for something like this for my family. I'm amazed you make so many great flavors that are gluten free. My guys are crazy for chocolate checks and honey nut checks. For me, it's cinnamon. It means a lot to be able to give them something that's good for them that also puts smiles on their faces. Because I really love those smiles. We're the Harris family, and we love checks. Love checks? Connect with us on Facebook. If digestive issues are twisting up your life, try Shift Digestive Advantage. Its probiotics survives 10 times better to get where you need it for healthy digestion. Take the Digestive Advantage 14-day challenge with a money-back guarantee. How would you like to win $5,000 a week for your life? Then after that, have someone you choose get $5,000 a week for their life. It's the Publishers Clearinghouse $5,000 a week forever prize. Leave a legacy for your loved ones. Enter at PCH.com and February 28th, win forever. Tonight on HLN. 
people really put to the test. What would you do? HLN Tonight, 9 Eastern. If you had a choice between going bald and a full head of hair, which would you choose? Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. Yes! You wash it, you cut it. It's your own real, naturally growing hair. When it comes to hair restoration, no one in the world has more experience than Bosley. The results look completely natural and are affordable on nearly any budget. But the entire process can't be explained in 60 brief seconds. So to find out more about this clinically proven and permanent solution to hair loss, call now to receive your free no-obligation information kit. It'll answer all of your questions about hair loss and hair restoration. Plus, we'll also send you this $250 gift certificate just for calling. Every day you wait, you're losing more hair. So don't put it off any longer. You owe it to yourself to find out the facts. Choose hair. Choose Bosley. Call 1-800-713-0267. That's 1-800-713-0267. day in court in a clown costume uh, the judge told him go home and change his court date was rescheduled for March the clown's real name is Kenneth Krakunis he was arrested in November for getting in a fight with a cop while he was dressed in the same outfit he's charged with resisting an officer and disorderly conduct uh -oh. uh, that is not respect for the court. What the heck kind of a clown fights a cop? Hey, Bob's not here. I'm going to do travel today, too. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Bob. We've got for brewing at the blob. No need to panic, people. <laughs> Everything is fine. So, yeah, look at you, Jennifer. Good. Good. Yeah, Natasha's just resting her voice. She'll be back. Yeah, it's tough. Let me show you what's going on weather-wise today. It's going to be a tough go for you. Later today, Chicago, the rain is set up towards you. Let me show you where it is now. There it is, out of Houston, in towards New Orleans, getting to Baton Rouge. Tornado watch out there, too. The whole stream. Headed to the Midwest, and I'll show you that in a second. But let me show you the delays, the potential ones. There aren't any right now, but Chicago could get an hour or more later this afternoon as the rain fills in. Uh, San Francisco, you're going to see the rain and the wind out there, an hour plus. St. Louis, again, rain and wind, and looking at Kansas City with all rain. Salt Lake City, it's all snow. You're going to see some good de icing delays up there also. And then Las Vegas, Los Angeles, too. Winds up to 35, maybe 40 miles per hour. Bouncy ride for the southwest as that storm gets going. You'll see some air traffic delays there as well. We'll show you the rest of that stuff, Jan, coming up in just a couple minutes. Good to see you there. But this knows where it's supposed to be, right? Yeah, indeed. In the mountains? This time of year, yeah. All right, good. All right, there's a warning about a new scam. More websites make their sales pitches look like news stories. They're not. HLN money expert Clark Howard says, be careful where you click. I got a new special warning for you, and it involves something very clever by scamsters and other people just trying to get in your wallet who might just be marketing something not truly ripping you off. Let me tell you what they're doing. If you go to Google or Bing to do a search for a particular topic or product or whatever, and the search results come back, a lot of what look like news links pop up. And you click on one and you think you're at some kind of news website and you're reading what appears to be an article, but guess what it really is? It's just an advertising technique where ads are posed as if they are news items. I'm seeing this more and more and more on the web. So when you click on something, really pay attention. Are you truly at a news article or are you just at a clever pitch for something that may clean out your wallet? I'm Clark Howard for more ways to protect yourself Go to hlntv.com slash Clark. And you know you can get great advice from Clark every night on Evening Express. He's with Ryan Smith and Aisha Sassay weekdays, 5 to 7 Eastern, here on HLN. A crane collapse had people screaming, running for safety in New York. Take a look. You can see the damage it caused at this construction site. This is in Queens. Seven construction workers were hurt, three of them seriously. Officials say the company that owns the crane also owned a crane that collapsed in Manhattan in 2008. The company hasn't responded about the latest incident. NRA reps are headed to Washington today, and Walmart will be there, too. They're all going to be talking about gun laws with the vice president, and Congress might get pushed out. Excuse 
me, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to power down your little word game. I think your friends will understand. Oh, no, it's actually my Geico app. See? I just, uh, paid my bill. Did you really? From the plane? Yeah, I can manage my policy, get roadside assistance, you know, pretty much access Geico 24-7. Sounds a little too good to be true, sir. I'll believe that when pigs fly. Mm. Mm. Did she seriously just say that? Geico. Just a click away with our free mobile app. Our buyers negotiated the best deals of the season on the best floors, and they're all priced to move at Lumber Liquidator's January liquidation sale. Our best laminates and vinyl wood plank are 20% off are already incredibly low prices. Gunstock oak pre-finished hardwood, one of America's most popular hardwoods, is just $2.69. Plus, get 18 months special financing. These deals will not last. Hurry. January liquidation sale is going on now at your local lumber liquidator. Wow, that's her new hit, Girl on Fire. Christina Aguilera and Jay's opening at the top they use as a breathing hole. Canadian officials are trying to get ice, an icebreaker to free those whales, but the nearest one is 36 hours away. Today, new rules could help prevent another meltdown in the housing market, but uh, Jen, at the same time, it could make it tougher for you to get a mortgage. Yeah, Natasha, these are really to prevent the worst case scenarios from happening again. I mean, we heard some of these terrible stories in the mortgage crisis. I'm just going to give you the worst, right? A widow who's on Social Security, she's put into a mortgage, and clearly she doesn't really understand all this. And then in two years, the payments balloon up, and her monthly payment is more than her Social Security check. How on earth would she keep that home? People looked at this and said, how could that have happened? Banks, mortgage brokers kind of shrugged and said, well, she signed it. Come on. So now if you have so much debt, if, you have, if your debt is more than 43% of your income, you can't get a mortgage. And banks are going to ask more about your finances. Now, probably you're saying, Jen, banks are doing that now. That's right. They pretty much are. Especially if you've refinanced, you know how much paperwork they're asking for. Banks pretty much learned their lesson. But as we know... We're all human beings, right? The brain's lessons only last so long. So this puts it into rules to protect both you and the economy in case we end up in those sort of go-go days again where banks are lending like crazy. Natasha. Jen, thank you. 911 lines lit up in Norfolk, Virginia with people calling in about a small lion on the loose. And there was a lion that ran across the street, a baby lion. Oh, okay. Where, what kind of animal? Lion, a baby lion, mate. Had the mange and everything. It was about the size of a Labrador retriever. Caller just about had it right because those people, Charlie, that saw Charlie, well, he's a Labradoodle whose owner has him groomed to look like a lion. <laughs> His owner says he's always attracting attention.